Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. 9.1 is finally here in the EU after a slightly extended maintenance. And what are we going to do? Are we going to go and explore Corthia? Are we going to look at what our covenant's been up to? Hell no. First thing we're going to do, we are heading back to Ogrimmar because we have new glasses, transmogs, and new split shoulder system to explore. So let's get into it. Now, we're going to start this one off in my beloved Ogrimmar, of course. I will say, it's literally the patch has just become available. I've logged in and the lag is insane. So apologies if there is a bit of stutter. It's not at your end, it is at mine. It does ease itself out, so bear with me. So as you can see, we need to go to the little pathway on the upper left-hand side between the Valley of Spirit and also Wisdom, I believe. There's a little barber shop just before you can go down towards the Cleft of Shadows, you can see here. Right outside of there is Kenis, and I'm going to pronounce that horribly wrong. There's basically a new troll that's got a set of glasses on, that is our new vendor. I was hoping for a little market stall or something a little bit more, I don't know, like permanent. But anyway, but yes, as you can see, we have five new transmog items, cosmetic items, so they can be worn by anybody if you're a plate wearer. If you're cloth, whatever it may be, anybody can wear these, it's fine. So yeah, we have basic glasses, we have glasses with a slightly flashier gold rim, we have the black sunglasses, we have the half rose tinted, then we have the full rose tinted glasses. The rose tinted ones are the most expensive, like 500 gold. I will say I love the name, they're like retrospective uh, changes, basically rose tinted glasses. Uh, as I say, none of them are very expensive, and I love these. These are so cool, but it does beg the question. Do we need to start having more slots available for our head? Even if it's just for cosmetic point of view, if we can have sort of our gear that we slot, and then have maybe multiple items that we can then attach purely for aesthetics... Now you will see, I'm not going to use my transmog mount, I'm actually, this only ever happens on patch days, it's happened when Shadowlands dropped, I go to the barber shop, go and see whatever cosmetics I can do there, and then I come straight to this transmog, I don't know why I don't get my big transmog mount out, but there we go, it's just tradition now. So, this is the second part, this is the other exciting thing that's dropped in 9.1 with regards to transmogs, and that is the ability to split items. So this works on the shoulders for now, I'm hoping it's going to be in other areas soon, there's a little tick box. Click the tick box and we're basically saying we want to separate our shoulders out so we can have different items and different shoulders. You can see here the frost set I'm using, or sorry, the mage set I'm using has the shoulders which has a sort of one frost icicle is the best way I can call it on one shoulder or, one, or frost crystal and on the other is like it's orange fire crystal. I don't like the fire one when I am doing a transmog for my frost mage. So it's nice that I can now just, I can keep the ice one but I can get rid of the orange and I can pick something else. I will say this, I was kind of hoping that maybe I could mirror the shoulder onto the other side. You can't do that, so literally it is the left and the right shoulder, and that's it. You can't just go, oh, I want to copy my left shoulder over onto my right one or anything like that. Which, yeah, I, that was probably going a bit too far. But this opens up all sorts. The mage, ah, fine, you know, I'll pick something, it'll work. What I'm really excited for is hunters. I've wanted this one hunter for so long. Because we're starting to get, we've got bows now that have quivers in, obviously our legion stuff, but also we have the Savannah's bow coming, hopefully they're going to add more quivers, we've got the Tauren heritage armor, that's the big totem. Now we can change our shoulders, have one really big shoulder, one that doesn't have a shoulder at all, and that's going to mean that our quiver doesn't clip and things like that. It's going to be so good, but the alliance have not been forgotten, so let's get rid of this and let's head on over to Stormwind. And you're going to laugh hysterically. Normally I'd cut all this out. And it would literally be me just turning up at the location. But yeah, I don't know my way around Stormwind very well at all. I kind of know the main areas. But not the little nuanced parts of that. So yeah, you're going to... As I said, normally I'd cut this out. But I just thought I've got to keep this in. Because it's me getting completely lost. So here you go. So location, we were on 61, 59, 66, 11. And we're looking for an NPC called Finn. And this is the trade district, so what do I do? I land straight in the middle of the trade district, and I go, okay, then where's the, uh, where's the barber shop? Where is it? <clears throat> it isn't here. Even to the point where I have to open my map, look to see where it is, and then go, oh, it's in the back street over... Okay, okay, yeah. 
not my finest moment. And then worse, that, <laughs> that other character is in front of Finn. Finn's actually a little kid just stood to the side, and I couldn't find it. And I was like, you're having a mare grim. But we decided to keep it in just because I thought it was funny. As you can see here, I just paid for all of these glasses over on my Horde character, but only the first set of glasses was considered paid for and I had the appearance. The other four, I don't have the appearance for, so I'm going to have to buy them as well. Again, they're not very expensive, it's fine, and I can't really see a difference. I'm not really sure why that's the case, but there you go. As I say, they're not ridiculously expensive, it's not going to break the bank to rebuy them. If you do have a lot of characters on board and Alliance, you want to transform their appearance on both. So yeah, I'm probably going to go for the simple Ron Swanson cut slice half lens, whatever they're called, reading glasses. Uh, it's got to be done. But yeah, really, really loving this little addition. But yeah, it would be nice to have, as I said before, the ability to start having more things. So obviously we've got top hats, we've got these glasses. I want to be able to add them all together and make some really cool transmogs. Speaking of transmogs, I obviously paid for these glasses. I haven't actually wore them yet. So yeah, we're going to head back to the Transmogger in Ogrimmar because this character is called Magic Man. And I haven't played... I've had him for ages, haven't really played him for a while. He's going to go Frost and I was thinking, he needs the glasses. He's been around for ages now. And I'm looking forward to playing him, but what glasses are going to suit him? I was going to go, well, let's have flashy black sunglasses, of course. And I thought, no, he's an elder statesman like me now. Just act your age. So, of course, we had to go just the standard old man, silver rimmed reading glasses. There we are, everybody. I hope you all have a great time with 9.1. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Laters, everybody. Have a good one.